Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is how a host gets a unique global unicast address. IPv6 global unicast address is similar to IPv4 public IP address. It's used when a host wants to use the internet. Here is one example of a global unicast. Eight groups of 16-bit hexadecimal numbers, separated by colons, 128-bit long altogether, very long and complicated. The hexadecimal numbers are not case sensitive. Lowercase letters are suggested to use, even though I use uppercase here. For years to come. A global unicast address always starts with 2001. A global unicast address consists of three parts. The first 48 bit is called global routing prefix, and the next 16 bit is called subnet ID. The third part, 64 bit long, is interface identifier or simply interface ID which is host portion of IP address. Altogether, a global unicast address is 128 bit long. How does your device get a global unicast? The process involves in two parts. The first 64-bit part, which includes the global's routing prefix and the subnet ID, comes from your default gateway. The second 64-bit is generated by your device itself. Now, let's talk about how your device gets the first 64-bit part of a global unicast address. Here is how it works. An IPv6 global unicast address is generally assigned in a hierarchical manner. Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, or simply IANA, a top dog who is responsible for the DNS route, IP addressing, and other internet protocol resources sits at the very top, assigning the first 16 bit to anyone downstairs. At this point, 2001 is the first 16 bit of number for all global unicast addresses. A new number will be given maybe 9 million years later, but for years to come, if you see any IPv6 address starts with 2001, you know it's a global unicast. The second level is your regional ISP, which will add another 16 bit, such as 1234 in this example. Thus, anyone under your regional ISP would get 2001 calling 1234 as routing prefix. The process goes on to the third level. Your ISP will add another 16-bit, such as ABC. Thus, anyone downstairs will get 2001 calling 1234 calling ABCD as routing prefix. Now it comes down to your organization or your company's default gateway, which will add one more 16-bit subnet ID, such as 5678 as routing prefix. Thus, any device, anyone downstairs will get 64-bit as routing prefix. Now let's talk about the second 64-bit ID for your device. The second 64-bit portion or interface ID 
is typically derived from your device MAC address. Thus, the second portion is decided by your device, not by anyone else on the network. A MAC address is 48 bit long. The first 24 bit is called OUI, Organizationally Unique Identifier, which identifies the manufacturer. The second 24 bit is called NIC, or Network Interface Controller. How does a device self generate a 64 bit long interface ID with a 48 bit long MAC address? This method is using a feature called EUI64. EUI stands for Extended Unique Identifier, which allows a device or host to assign itself a unique 64 bit IPv6 interface ID. EUI64 is a key benefit over IPv4 as a host is more in control, eliminating the need of manual configuration or DHCP server's IP configuration. Suppose your device MAC address is 00212FB56E10. Actual 16 bit of hex number FFFE is inserted to the middle of MAC address. Now we have 64 bit of ID. The next step is a bit weird because we will flip the 7th bit from the left. In order to demonstrate how it works, we need to change the first two hex numbers 00 to binary, which is 8 zeros. Now flip the 7th bit, which means if the 7th bit in the MAC address from left is 1, we change it to 0. Or if the 7th bit is 0, we change it to 1. Please do not worry about the reason why we need to flip the 7th bit right now and let's only focus on the process. Now we get the interface ID. Next step we can combine these two parts, global routing part and EUI64 part, and we get a unique global unicast address. Keep in mind, different operating systems have their own method to generate the interface ID part. Cisco, iOS, Linux, and Unix systems use EUI64 method. Microsoft Windows use a random value to generate the second portion. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.